Good morning, so it's currently 6 a.m. I'm on my way to the airport and I'm going on a little short trip to the Czech Republic for a extra course that I took through like this exchange program that my university has. So wish me luck. The metro is literally empty. I want an entire train. So around 3 p.m. we got to the hostel for a check-in. The hostel was called Bunker Factory. It looked super sketchy going in, but it was actually quite okay when we got there. Um, the bathroom was decent, the sink area was nice, and they had these cute little messages on the mirror, as you can see in these two shots. And um, the toilet was fine. It was like, I mean, average, <laughs> I guess. And um, the shower area was okay. Like in the morning, it was pretty clean, but in the afternoon it got a little bit grimy and you know like the floor was kind of dirty and like what so that wasn't so nice so maybe it would have been better if they would cleaned it maybe like one other time during the day but oh well that happens the bed was nice it had this cute little outlet and a lamp and there was a curtain that you could pull so i stopped here and did some schoolwork before we went out we went out to dinner to a place that was not too far from where we were staying um i don't remember the name of the restaurant but they were playing only rihanna music so um that was great and we got a bunch of appetizers and I also had this salmon with mashed potatoes. They were literally the best mashed potatoes of my life. So that was great. And then um, afterwards we went out to a club, but I was kind of tired. So I went home like pretty quickly. Okay, I promise I'll stop talking soon, but I have to talk about our breakfast the next morning because I'm obsessed with food. We went to this really cute place called Bistro Monk that was also not far from where we were staying. Um, we had this really good like lemonade. I forget exactly what kind of lemonade it was, but it was not just lemons. And um, then they had blueberry pancakes that had this blueberry sauce on top of them. They were so pretty and so tasty and so full of blueberries. So that was great. And then I had this um, eggs benedict and that was awesome and just tasted amazing. And we had to get it because we kept seeing people with it on their plates and it was so good. So yeah, that's all. And I promise I'll stop talking now. <laughs> Thank you.
mostly full day in Prague um, and now we are in Olomot. I don't know how you say the name of this place, I'm sorry, um, but I just got to the hostel with the other people that I've been traveling around with. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick tour of the room because it's really nice, especially compared to the first hostel. I didn't want to take too many videos in the first hostel, but this one is also empty right now, so I'm just going to take a quick little video. So this like hostel is called Long Story Short, and they don't like to um, use like bunk beds, so they have this like stair situation here, which is kind of cool. This hostel was overall just so cute. They had this adorable little loft, but I didn't stay up there because on the way to the hostel, we saw all these spiders on like the buildings outside and that just freaked me out. So I didn't want to be close to the walls because I'm arachnophobic, but they had cute storage space. It was very effective. Everyone had a locker um, and the bathroom was just amazing. The shower was this huge full size shower with this wooden floor mat, as you can see, and there was a nice shelf for your things, a rainfall shower, and it was just really well designed. The soap bottles were adorable. Everything was had like a theme going on there were these ring light mirrors in the middle by the sinks and there were all these wooden accents and everything just looked so nice and it was just so much better than the first hostel very clean and it was a great experience i have a few more shots of the bathroom that i took in the morning when the lighting was better because i had arrived in the night um but while all that's going on and i'm going to show the breakfast for a second uh from the breakfast buffet and also i'm going to get into the tour that we went on with one of the teachers from the university that the exchange was with but while that's all being shown I'm going to talk a little bit about the night before because we got to Olomouc very late and so pretty much everything was closed and we ended up going to this kebab place where I got I don't even remember what it was but it was some kind of kebab and when I was there I ran into this very cute couple there was this woman um, with blonde hair who looks Czech I guess and she kind of kept looking at me and I was like okay is she gonna say something to me and she was kind of smiling and I was like whoa like nobody here has been smiling at me this whole time so I was like is she gonna say something and then eventually she was like hablas espanol and I was like oh my gosh see sí. so we started talking in Spanish and that was just so bizarre and it turned out that her husband was from Spain or I'm not sure if it was Spain I think it might have been no it might have been the Canary Islands I'm sorry if I'm like butchering this and maybe someone doesn't even speak Spanish in these places but anyway so then she like called in her husband and he was talking to me and they were so excited and I was telling them about how I'm like studying in Denmark and everything and they were just so sweet and they were so excited to talk to me and they were very complimentary of my Spanish which was so nice of them they were telling me about their son and all this other stuff it was just so nice and a great interaction especially because for some reason in the time that I had been walking around Prague the first day people seemed very unfriendly um, and a lot of the waiters and waitresses were just not very smiley or anything and it doesn't mean that they were being rude necessarily I don't, I'm not saying that but they just didn't seem I guess the most outgoing and maybe I'm biased because I'm American but either way it was nice to have a very positive interaction and I thought it was funny that this woman asked me if I spoke Spanish I'm guessing since you know maybe she thought I was from like somewhere in Latin America since my skin is darker or something or maybe like the Dominican Republic but either way it was just a very positive interaction and I'm glad that I got to talk with these people. way after this trip happened but I need to let you all know <laughs> what happened this day so this day this last day that I was in the Czech Republic was the day that we were doing a presentation for basically our project that we did during this online course and we were doing it in front of the professors from the course and they were going to give us feedback and I'm not sharing this to throw shade at anybody or anything like that I was pretty bothered by it at the time but now I'm just sharing this because I think it was an interesting cultural experience, like in terms of investigating societal differences and how the hierarchy between student and teacher is structured in different places. So anyway, let me get into the story. I don't want to take too long. So I was sitting, waiting to present with my group, my project, and I was sitting in the row behind the row where the teacher is kind of giving feedback for sitting. And so I'm arachnophobic, which I think I already said at another point in this video. 
and so me and that other person in my group are sitting together and there's a spider like a little spider not very big but enough to bother me and this other person in my group so i was gonna help this person out um and normally i would not touch it but i was like okay this is rapport presentation i don't want to freak out right now i was like going through my bag i had my purse with me all i had was like a receipt in the bag so i just took this receipt and reached over the person sitting next to me uh, i'm not going to say their gender because i don't want to reveal who this person is um but i reach over and just go like this <laughs> and um to try to kill the spider and then the person next to me that was originally afraid to notice the spider first they also go like this one more time to try to kill the spider because it didn't die the first time and then mind you none of the group is presenting so i'm just trying to deal with this whole situation as discreetly as possible because i don't want to freak out and i don't want this other person in my group to freak out so then all of a sudden this woman sitting in front of me one of the professors she turns around and is like did you just kill that in here and literally stops everything and i was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> um this is not how i wanted this to go at all i was literally just trying to be discreet and not bother anybody and she started yelling at us about like how we need to value all life and stuff like that and i'm like okay you know a valid point and normally when i am afraid of spiders and i have to deal with them i would prefer if the person handling it for me took them outside but sometimes that's just not very feasible or i'm by myself so anyway it just was not the time and the place to interrupt a group in the middle of their presentation and it just seemed very unprofessional to me like the way she was handling the situation so eventually she stopped yelling at us and turned around so the other group could continue their presentation and then we had to present afterwards and then this woman was being so passive aggressive during the whole presentation she was like shaking her head at me when it was time for her to give feedback at the end she was like our project had to do with like vertical farming and she was like oh well what about the insects and like all this stuff and we were like oh my god <laughs> i was just so shocked i mean if that was what's important to her fine but then the thing that really bothered me was after my group presented there was this other group from france presenting and then there was a person that was kind of like reading off of a um like a script that they had written and maybe that was the best that this girl could do so i don't want to i'm not going to judge her and anyway so then this woman the same professor literally stops this group in the middle of their presentation and she's like this is so long and so boring at this point literally one of the people that came with me from my school was like recording the situation because it was so bad and I just can't believe that this woman felt comfortable talking down to students like this. But when we talked to some of the Czech students afterwards, they said, yeah, this is totally normal. Like, she's like this and it's not unusual for professors here to be like this. And when I talked to a guy from Croatia, the one that was recording, he also was saying, yeah, professors in Croatia are like this. So I was just like, what? This is so unfortunate because if this happened in Denmark or in the US, I think it would be considered pretty unacceptable. And just extremely unprofessional so that was a wacky experience and i think it was just interesting to see the difference in student teacher relationships between like denmark and the us and the czech republic mm -hmm.